I can only conclude having purchased from Polygon firsthand and seeing you try to change the rules to allow such insane density that Polygon is a corporate liar. I again ask that Council stand behind its existing residents first before allowing density almost three times higher than Marina Garden currently enjoys. The Marina Gardens Estates Project, as currently offered, provides a plan that would appeal to young families like mine. My husband, two children and I currently rent in Vancouver, but would find the mix of housing options proposed in Marina Gardens to our liking. The different types of housing, both proposed and existing, give individuals, couples and families many opportunities to purchase and move around within a community bounded by water, a golf course, trails and a proposed park with playgrounds for all ages. We must create more opportunities for affordable home ownership through responsible densification. Your Worship and Council, this proposed final phase of Marina Garden Estates offers, in my view, just that. As single family homes become more expensive and unattainable, housing must respond by providing ownership opportunities for young families. The simple challenge facing Marina Garden Estates is this. Provide housing which responds to the changes that are occurring all, occurring all around us or people will leave the area to find the housing which meets their needs. The result will be there will be less or no parking available for the residents of Centre Estates on Admiral Boulevard. And because of the reduced parking on Admiral Boulevard, there will be a significant increase in the number of vehicles that are parked on the sidewalks and streets in Centre Estates. So your question may be, who cares? What's the big deal? <coughs> In my view, this is going to increase safety hazards on at least two levels. Firstly, more vehicles occupying sidewalk space in a compact neighborhood with many small children. This is forces children onto the roadways in our neighborhood even more than is presently the case. This is a risky proposition because kids and cars don't mix.